um, on the final part of the, each show. Um, yeah. We're really winding down to speak about some nitty gritty details within Islam. However, they're not given that much importance. So hopefully we're going to be um, uncovering some uh, mm. topics Inshallah. of interest. And of course, we're joined by our esteemed guest, um, Sayyid uh, Ali al Nawab, um, to really enlighten us about some of the jurisprudential issues about topics that we don't really speak about mm. much um, in the public atmosphere. Um, one of them, uh, which we're going to be covering today, Zara, is quite a, a controversial issue, um, yeah. which is kind of like murder and forgiveness versus blood money. Um, I think it's more relevant back in our home countries. Uh, maybe not so much here, I'm not sure. We'll probably have a discussion about it today. Yeah. But Sayyidina, as alaikum alaykum, first of all. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for joining us. Um, I mean, we hear the, the, the terminology, blood money, uh, forgiveness. We all sort of have a pretty good idea of what that entails. But would you mind just going through yeah. what blood money is in, in a, from an Islamic perspective? In what context? And Does it have a context, actually, blood money within Islam? Yes. Mm. Uh, there is a whole uh, section in the books, uh, Islamic jurisprudence books, uh, Masal al-Shari'ah, where each alim or each marja has to go through and place uh, answers. Mm. Because it's there, it's in the fiqh of Ahl Bayt And um, it was an issue, um, it's been always an issue, you know, taking one's life. It started from the time of Prophet Adam mm -hmm. and it will continue. Mm -hmm. It is one of the things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, um, has uh, uh, spoken about in the Holy Quran and the Ahlul Bayt, specifically the Holy Prophet of Islam and Ahlul Bayt salam, have emphasized and have spoken about it uh, heavily actually. Mm -hmm. Because it's one of the things that uh, always the oppressors and all, all, always the, there, there was and there will be uh, the evil individuals within a society or within a community that will commit such acts. So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in Islam have, uh, uh, have has placed uh, uh, heavy uh, consequences and uh, uh, one of them is the, the blood money. Mm -hmm. The fact that uh, there is a financial aspect mm -hmm. uh, regardless of the, the, the punishment and the, the way the community or the society will look down upon the person or they will banish certain individuals outside their communities uh, if they do not repent and do not come back um, uh, for the act that they have done. Um, the blood money is, is uh, uh, in, in the uh, terminology uh, is uh, called al-fidya. Uh, fidya. Al-fidya yeah. mm. Is different than the kafara, mm. because the person that, um, for example, uh, takes the life of someone mm -hmm. has to pay fidya. In general uh, situations, there are situations where the fidya is not necessary, but the kafara is necessary. All right. And there are situations where they have to pay fidya and also do the kafara. Mm. Do, you, do you mind if I quickly ask you in here? So they have this payment. Is that on top of any punishment that they would be sentenced to? Of course, uh, nowadays uh, families tend to uh, seek refuge to the local authorities right. mm. for the, the physical mm. punishment yeah. and the arrest or the, the consequences of someone taking one life. But here we're, we're discussing it um, religiously. Yeah. Okay. Um, of course, there is a physical aspect to it and there is an emotional aspect right, to it. Okay. The physical aspect is that uh, the legal and the local authorities, the, the police or the, uh, the courts of justice, they will uh, know what they have to do with yeah. certain. They will investigate and they will find out if this was uh, uh, by armed or uh, purpose. purpose or it was no, an accident. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking more about, so when Imam Ali Islam would say, you know, you, you, the, the chopping of the hand, things like that, that would still happen. I mean, obviously not for a murder, but the, the punishment is still there, but this is separate, mm. the blood That's, money. Yeah, the blood money is separate from okay. there. Yeah. Um, again, as I said, uh, there are different areas, yeah. there are different, uh, different um, segments, because as, uh, as you may be aware, um, there are times where uh, it happens within the family, 
Uh, there are times it happens from s someone totally stranger mm -hmm. from outside the family. Mm -hmm. So each one has its own rules and regulations. Okay. Uh, the fidya is, uh, in most cases, uh, if I can go back to my notes, alif mithqal min al dhahab al khalas. Wow. Is a thousand ounces of pure gold. Wow. Or what its equivalent. Mm -hmm. Mashallah. Because Islam, for someone who does this on purpose, they want to place this financial burden. So the people who are thinking mm. to, do it again. to do it, they think twice. twice. Yeah. And this is what, the again, the, the ulama, the speakers and lecturers, uh, on, on, on um, many occasions they need to remind mm. the community of these masail. Mm. Because sometimes we tend to remind people about the, the family issues, about mm. the social issues. Mm. And this is one of them. If people know that there is a, a heavy financial burden upon the person that commits such an act, then they will be aware that, okay, if I do that, yeah. do that then yeah. So uh, what if it's, this is, I'm assuming this is someone who is Muslim to Muslim. What if it's a non-Muslim to a Muslim? Obviously, that they're not bound by no. blood money rules. Again, as I said, each uh, situation yeah. is judged separately. Yeah. So here, uh, for example, s one might need to pay a thousand ounces of gold, or in other situations, they say you have to pay the worth of a hundred camels, for example. No, I'm saying, for example, let's let's just say we're living in London, and and someone outside of Islam, um, whichever nationality, was to murder my son, for example, or murder a Muslim. Uh, uh, person, Here, Islam, citizen, yeah, and they obviously hope they're not going to go to the say we have blood money. You have to pay us the blood money for it. They would it be applicable? It. it wouldn't be applicable, would it? Um, it's of course it's Muslim to Muslim, yeah. uh -huh. and uh, if that person is uh, wanting to know, as the person that I have. Uh, God forbid, taking the, the mm. life of is a Muslim. And if they want to do it that way, they might ask, or their family might ask, mm. that's okay, you guys, yeah. uh, you are Muslim, so how do you do it the Islamic way? Okay. Yeah. If they are, you know, they want to take care of that aspect. Okay. Well, I but suppose it's their aspect of looking at it from an Akhara perspective, isn't it? That, you know, they might pay the punishment of going to jail here. But then, how do they redeem themselves in front of Allah, which is obviously this blood money. But mm. as practiced, uh, as, as we know it from the riwayat and ahadith of Ahlul Bayt salam, they used to deal with it this way. They used to mm -hmm. either um, uh, speak to the uh, family of, of the deceased and tell them, okay, what do you guys want to do? Mm -hmm. If they were uh, adamant that they need the blood money, then the blood money has to be paid. Mm -hmm. If the person that had committed that act or the family are not able to pay the financial um, consequences of this act, Ahlul Bayt they used to Kaba. pay from the yeah. Bayt Ma'al yeah. okay. If not, there are many occasions that no, the family were uh, happy to um, exempt this individual, forgive, forgive this individual mm -hmm. from paying. Mm -hmm. uh, then there are other consequences, there are mm -hmm. other things that, they, that the person needs to commit, but the financial aspect will be uh, dropped. Lovely. What happens in, so while this may not necessarily be applicable to us here, but in certain Eastern countries where Islam is you know, predominantly um, practiced. Um, what happens in those countries? Is this such a practice still happening? Blood money, is it something that's relevant to those people? Yeah, where, uh, where uh, the, the, the Islamic teachings and the Islamic uh, rule are, are, are being practiced, then this is, this is the, mm. the norm, as we can say. Uh, this has been practiced, they, they do uh, mm. uh, uphold and adhere to these teachings and these rules. Um, where the blood money uh, is paid, then uh, uh, the, the person does the kafara, uh, the, yeah. that's it, it's settled. Because this prevents yeah. from further, uh, yeah. you know, grudges and yeah. hatred happening yeah. between mm. the, the two families. Khalas, we've paid the blood money, yeah. we, we've, uh, you, the, the authorities have, for example, uh, taken in our son or our, our daughter for Khalas. They said there's no, uh, uh, at least in this life, there is nothing yeah. else that... But I was going to say, actually, interestingly, I was just thinking when you were saying that, there were cases in America that they have the... Um, the lawsuit where they're, you know, trialing a person's murdered a family member of, a, you know, somebody, and then they bring a civic 
case and they actually ask for compensation for yeah. that loss of life. So that is actually a similar, similar concept. To the, yeah, similar to Islamic Because, Islamic because that life will not come back, but they're asking for compensation for that murder. So again, it's, it's actually it's not similar. that, yeah. But so it's in a scenario, so we hear, unfortunately, of these honor killings where perhaps a girl is not marrying who her parents want. And so say a father murders or a brother murders a girl, um, a, a sister or daughter um, back home in an eastern country and the mother is left you know bereft and she has this um, you know she wasn't a part of this plot to murder the child what right does she that, that other parent have from, from the one that's committed the murder well generally speaking as I said the father if he was to commit such an act against the daughter the, 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 there is an opinion that there is no need for a fidya oh. mm. they will still receive the punishment right or they will still need to do the, the fidya go to? There is no fidya. No, I'm mm -hmm. saying if, if there was, ah. who would it go to? Uh, to the mother? Well, the if, uh, if there isn't, but if there was, yeah. it would be distributed uh, to the person or the people in charge of, of like the, the mother or the, the brothers or sisters. If there was a family, if she was married, for example. Ah, right. No, but because as far as I know, uh, sorry, uh, honor killings are, for example, a brother or a father killing... Plotting and killing the, the daughter. Yeah. Um, on yeah, the, the basis that she has committed a, uh, an act. She's not obedient to marry who they want, which is what usually happens in. Committed to an act. Yeah. yeah. So if, if there is a fidya, the fidya will go to who? Because she's, she's re her, her, the parents are responsible for her. So, so. The, what if the mother wasn't involved in that scenario? Can she raise a right on a blood money from the father who's murdered the daughter? Yeah. Again, each scenario, as I said, they need to go back to the, the Hakam al I and mean, each uh, mm. person, according to who they do taklid of, mm. deals with the certain situations differently. Mm. But in general, mm. for it to be within the immediate family, the father or the mother, there tends to be no fidya. No fidya. But there should be kafara. And the kafara for al qatl al amd, for uh, someone who commits that, that act on purpose, is al jam jam al kafarat al jam, which is uh, uh, fasting, tahrir al raqaba. They have to find the. Uh, we don't have this this time and age where they free a slave, mm. Mm. Uh, or they fast for two months where tam sitin miskin. They have to do all of these three. So when the first one is not available, so they do the the rest. But if someone who does this by mistake, or it was an accident, mm. they do one of them. Mm. Either Tahrir Raqaba or mm. Siyam Shahrain Mutatabain, fasting for two months, or consecutive months, or Atam uh, Sittina Miskina. And the fidya is, is, is reduced, of course. If there was to be a fidya, mm. according to each scenario, the fidya is reduced. Miskin is, is, is an orphan? Or? Miskin is someone who is a, a, a poor person. A poor person. Who is not able to. Uh, find means of of of, of, of food or food, okay. uh, shelter or someone who is not able to feed themselves. So, say somebody is then um, told to pay this blood money. What is their um, so what is it? What does Allah? How will Allah treat this person? Are yeah. they forgiven? Are they? What happens? This is the 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 uh, the circumstances in dunya. Oh. Yeah, but in Akhirah, it all uh, lies behind someone who is s sincerely um, uh, ashamed and also uh, who is uh, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the deep parts mm. of his heart to forgive him. Because Tawbah plays a very big role in this. Mm. Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa they used to advise individuals who commit any serious act. To go and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you. Tawbah. Because once you do Tawbah and it's a sincere Tawbah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his mercy might uh, uh, forgive you. If the family have, have forgiven you, if you have paid their blood money, mm. if you have done the kafara, and you have come and sincerely, you say, oh Allah, uh, it happened. Mm. Whether it was uh, deliberate or not. And I, I sincerely ask you to forgive me. Oh. And they, sh they show to be someone in a state of tawbah. Mm. It has to show on their behavior. Mm. Mm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is then is left 
to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his mercy uh, on the day of judgment how he will decide to uh, treat that person. Please, just last, we have literally have a minute, but I just want to know, we've talked about the person committing the, the crime. What about the person whose soul was taken away prematurely? They're murdered. What is their, um, you know, stas status and station in the next world then? Of course, um, Allah will reward them. Mm. Allah um, subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, had destined for this person, for example, to, to live uh, a further 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. But uh, their soul and their life was taken wrongfully. Mm. And that's prevented that, that individual that Allah had destined for them to live for the further uh, period of life, that he was going to do this good deed, mm. this good action. He was going to build, for example, a mosque, uh, help the mm. orphans, uh, feed the poor. So Allah knows that if this person was to live, he, will, he was going to do this. Right. So he will, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward mm. accordingly. Mm. Right. And it's always a test, an imtihan, for the a family of the deceased as well, yeah. mm. for them to see how patient they are, what right. they will do, whether, will they... Uh, uh, commit uh, acts of, 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 of revenge, haram yeah. or revenge or are they going to sublime to the uh, acts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah. to the wants mm. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah protect our family and friends yeah. and from these evil deeds. Uh, but thank you so much. Very fascinating to... Definitely. Uh, as, as, as mentioned in, in previous episodes, we're, we're really touching upon more family um, uh, and society related issues would say it, uh, it's, mm. it's good for people to know because yeah. these Definitely. topics are really yeah. you know discussed in, in such a manner you hear about them but you don't know about them so yeah. it's, it's good to well you've educated me say thank you so much for your Allah time Allah I really appreciate you're you're educated us. Us. Well. Um, and of course inshallah you know you've been educated dear viewers uh, and of course uh, if you do have any questions as I mentioned you can either email in or if you're watching this on YouTube just put some comments on the on the link um, nice comments, and then, please. Yeah, nice comments. <laughs> and, of, and of course, um, it would be great to have this discussion directed to, to Said Ali in, in the future. Um, so once again, thank uh, you. on behalf of myself and Zara, we thank you for, for watching. Happy Friday. And inshallah, we'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum <laughs> wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.